Andre Sarai. We're today we're jumping into It's a Sin. This is episode three. We have two more episodes to go, and then we're going to be done with this amazing show. And it has been a journey so far. We've already lost two people that actually were really important characters to this show. Um, so I'm ready to see. I'm actually terrified that we're gonna have some one of these characters that I'm actually starting to grow like really close to. They're the friends in my head. Um, and I feel like somebody's gonna catch something. I feel like I know who it is. Um, I think it's the the boy that we first, the, the guy that we first saw, um, who's like so anti, like trying to get knowledge about uh, HIV. It seems like he didn't, he doesn't believe that it's real. Um, and I feel like he's going to catch it, or the the guy who uh, dresses up. I think either one of those two are going to get it, and I don't know why. I think that, um, but that's what I think. I think either the guy who doesn't think that it's real is going to get it, or the other one with the, who dresses up is going to get it. He's going to pass away, and it's going to affect this group even more, and it makes the guy who doesn't believe it believe it. Um, so that's what I think. Now, I heard you guys loud and clear, like, when we're we gonna get another episode of It's a Sin? You guys know how I am, um, but we are going to be getting back on my rotation schedule. So, the beginning of the week, most likely, hopefully I could do it on Sundays where I could post, um, the shows that I will be watching that week. I also am getting into new shows. You guys already know how I am. I'm super excited that I will be getting into a lot more shows that are like this, where it has only five episodes, one season, one or two seasons, and then it's done, or it's a brand new show, and then we get to move on with that show instead of jumping into shows that have so many seasons. Um, I think the last two shows that I have with so many seasons is Peaky Blinders, Lucifer, and The Last Kingdom. Um, those are the three last shows, and I will not be ever picking up shows that have that many seasons ever. Okay, no. but um, I'm ready to jump right into this, guys. This will be a full reaction for my second and third tier here on the YouTube platform, as well as my other platform, Patreon. So, guys, please sign up to one of those platforms and help support the channel today. Um, as always, please like and share this video, guys. We are very close to 10K, but please like, 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 and share, share, share. Comment down below if you guys want me to read your comment. Um, I'm ready to jump into this. So, without further ado, ooh, let's jump into It's a Sin and find out exactly what this show has got to give. But then the glint did pale and fade, and so His cheeks so wax and cold Now the heptarch stands without a king To new life might begin Okay! I was just teaching Lucy some lessons But why are you in her bedroom? Get out of my house But I'm very good with tongues Feel the wind Fight it Fight it! And it's ripping your shirt off! It's ripping your bloody shirt off! Donald Bassett. I thought this might be your sort of place. Well, I got that part in the chimney sweep, which means you didn't. I know. Am I dying? I can't answer that, darling. Have you been to a doctor? We've got numbers of clinics. You don't have to use your real name. No one needs to know who you are, but they can help. The big joke. You're not healthy. Really, really sick, oh. but I can't help it. I don't want to touch him. <laughs> See, it's the two guys I thought they were gonna catch it. I want one of those. Oh, what was yours? Cassius. Haven't got long though. Quick shower, yeah. See you around. Yeah, I'm always in the brewers. I work there, I'm sort of. Yeah, I don't often go to that part of town, to be honest. Slamming it last night. <laughs> a little. That's how it still is in the gay world. I hate it. Long day's work, good meal at the end of it, fortifies the soul. Now, I'm very happy with you, overall. I could um, hand over a bit more responsibility. What do you think? <laughs> he said Stop I can have a set of keys so I can get in at 8.30. My money. Are you like a manager now? No, it means I can open up at 8.30. Gladys! You want I remember Gladys P once had a cup of tea and it didn't have any milk in it. Says there's my Chris goes there. He knows boy George. 
if he can get us into oh. the VIP area. Come on, sweetheart. We're off. Sweetheart? Who says fucking sweetheart? Are they boyfriends? He said he'd never have a boyfriend. Daisy? Isla St. Clair. Why Isla St. Clair? He looks like her. Her on the eyes. I can't shut that door! <laughs> <laughs> Have a cup of tea if you don't mind. Thank you, Colin. All like nine or ten. <laughs> Fourteen degrees. Huh? Here I am. Hold on. What happened to Colin? Any news? He's okay. Don't worry. I saw him. He's fine. I'll give him a good clip. Scary me. You can have one fit and never have another one ever again. What causes it though? There's no epilepsy in the family. Doctor said it's electricity in the brain. It sort of goes zap. I'll stay and give you a hand. I just grabbed a few of your t-shirts and things. What's the plan? I think he was embarrassed because you wet yourself on the carpet. Okay, Mum. I've had a piss can linger. Okay, thanks. <laughs> oh, I love you, Mrs. Maureen. <laughs> it's Silas and Claire's big night. Uh, <laughs> oh, Sarah, don't get involved. I got involved. What arms he ever done? He's a chimney sweep, for God's sake. What sort of accent is that? We've given you one warning. I think he's from the Pink Jar. <laughs> That'll be your red. That'll be your red. We should bring you back next week. You were brilliant. And they said if the story oh, yeah. goes a certain yeah. way. Do that'll be your red. That'll be your red. Oh, Jesus. To celebrate. It's about time we did it properly. That'll be your red. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Well, that's what it says. Use a sheath. I don't know. Yeah? Alright. Yeah. Fiddly bloody things. <sighs> did it right this time. <laughs> Those things, they kill it, Dad. I hate them. I can't feel anything. Not we can do with the stuff. You can trust me, yeah? Completely. You don't know him! What's he doing? I was looking for Cassius. Is he home? Cassius doesn't live here. What makes you think he does? Did he bring you here? Have you been inside this flat? Who are you? What's your name? I had a friend who works in the broom cupboard. Said he's at it like Billy O. <laughs> no way, Claudius! I can have divs, gay. Can you imagine? If people found out, I'll never, ever, ever, ever get cast in anything else. If I said I'm gay, I'd be just the clown. So, Aww. what would you be if you could be in anything? I wanna do good work. I don't mind, I'll have two lines as long as it's good. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna be massive. I wanna be in the West End. You can go to the premiere, you and me. Not together, but in secret. Yeah. Oh, do I get a part Ooh. in this film? You're the lady's maid. Yeah. Amazing. It's like the end of Juno and the Paycock. You can't have it. They're strangers to life, because he's in this war, and he never says which war, else he'll get shot too, so he just stands What's that? there. But they've still got his sister. I haven't got much in. I don't have time for the emergency. Is that nice? Faggots be great. I did shop for thorns. <laughs> Let's have go and do Love a faggot, thanks. <laughs> yeah, you flatmate, Roscoe. Yeah? He wears makeup. I was thinking, um, what a queer little lot, I suppose. Well, I think that's nice. Yeah. Well, what happened? It's all the same. You shouldn't go to France. It's a waste of time. Yeah, Who's going to France? Which I said was stupid because there's no person. But you keep insisting. Yeah. Think we'll go get you checked out tomorrow? Yeah. I really like him. It might just be an increase in dosage. It's like I'm having two thoughts at once. It all comes in a rush and I get a bit panicky. There it goes again. What are you looking at? Do you see? The light. <gasps> It's okay, I've got you, Colin. I wonder why he's scared of that. The same type of room that the other guy was in. Right. We can attack the symptoms, but the cause is incurable. I'm afraid the infection exists because your son has AIDS. Have I heard of what? It's the disease that ended the life of Rock Hudson. Is Colin going to be all right? I did say it's incurable. How did he get AIDS? Who did he sleep with? You're not allowed out. But I need the toilet. Well, why can't I get out? No one is allowed in, and he's certainly not allowed out. None of this is our fault. If he chose to be part of that cesspit, well, who am I to judge? When his disease becomes a public menace, because that's what he is now, you see. It's to stop me taking him out of here right now. The law, Mrs. Morris Jones. You mean he can't get out? That's right. He's a prisoner. But he's got epilepsy. That was official. They've just.
got it wrong. Did you actually talk to him instead of taking the piss? Oh, you're just as bad. Talk about some boy. Never said who, like, years ago, before he moved in. Anything, we've got to get him out. His mum says she's got savings, but I don't think it's much. You know what we need? A phone. We need a phone in this place. We should really, really get a phone. Come with me. Yeah. That is pew. I can't believe it. Gets him. Could get anyone. I share a room with him. Just saying hello. We're just sitting down now. This is Paul Birch. His son's applied for a graduate diploma in law. Have you got any work of your own? No, you have not. Oh, lots of love, says your father. I keep seeing people on the telly who are rubbish. I say Richie could do that. He'd be much better. Then everything's all right. Yeah. How's Jill? Was... Tricky. I get asked to audition a moment's notice. You are all right, aren't you? Yes. I just thought maybe life would be so much easier if if we had a phone. We could phone you more often. Well, we can help with that. Could you? I knew it was money. That's what we're here for. Take care and let me know how much the phone is. Night, night. And he thinks he got it. I don't know. Is that like a sign of that? Richie! Messiaan to be rude, and we are everything that we wish to cover. Help me now, will you? Help me now! Somebody explain what Here that I even am. means. Sorry, I took so long. It's Jill and Hello. Ash. This is Lisbeth. Hi, so, Elizabeth. First things first. You've done to your friend is appalling. And I'm here to get him out. Give me every single detail of what those little Welsh bastards have done, because I'm going to enjoy this. Uh. 14th September 1985, a man was detained. On appeal, he was released immediately. The provisions for infectious diseases fall under the regulations of 1985. About compensation for testing my client's blood without permission. The most important thing I've come here to tell you today is this. We're here to help. We just want to help. No wonder you're scared. Frightens me to death. But we've got guidelines. All guns blazing. We could just step back together and put Colin first. I can't believe Colin has it. Mom. Look at you, little chicken. They wouldn't let me out. I was stuck. Where have we been? I've been trying. Little man, you're going to get a tiny bit confused every now and then, Colin. And you'll be close to your friends. I can stay around the corner. We'll be fine. Turns out it's a little bit more than epilepsy. Dr. Williams is here because uh, I'm in the room when he tells you. Why? What is it? What's wrong with me? I'm not dirty. No one said you were. And they make me better. You're moving back to London. I know a bit more there. I can't remember things properly. I think it was him. He gave it to me. Who do you mean? The football shirt. It's every single person die. Yeah, they do. Oh, mommy, make them do something. I don't want to die. When people say coughs and colds can kill you, that's because ordinary illnesses run out of control. The brain's in trouble, everything goes. They think it's this virus called JC. <sighs> because Colin's so weak, he can't fight it off. I see now, like old people. And he's only 24. Nice. Thank you. I'm always nice. I mean, I can sit here. No, that's not have too many. Uh, be right back. Do you want anything? Jill said, be nice. Like, I'm horrible. <laughs> I can't imagine what she means. God, this is weird. Richie's being nice to me. <laughs> Am I that bad? Oi. He said, we can't have your mum paying the rent and we refuse to move anyone else in. Oh, your bed's still there for when you come home. I do miss you. I miss you hopping out of the shower in the morning because I always thought you looked so sexy. Right. I walk around in that towel. I take myself off and I have a wank. Right. Okay. Colin, did I tell you I went into print the other day? You look day? good right now. Let's get everyone out, quick as you can. Thank you. On your feet, don't stare, folks. He's barging up, he's dying. I love this place to make money. I hate this show. Mr. Ashman <laughs> Mukherjee, please. 
should have the results in six weeks. So six within weeks. those six weeks, it's best to be sensible. It's going to become a focal point, and a place of ambition for the whole world. But give the child to me. Give me the stranger's child. Give the stranger's child to me. Okay, I'll be there at 12. I got it! That you were the second choice. I don't care. I wanted that Donald Bassett. You're the one who got the chimney sweep? Turns out he's gone home. For good. And I don't think we'll ever see them again. Do you? Promise me. Don't go home. I knew it! Roscoe Babatunde, please. And yeah, there's nothing to worry about. The test came back negative. But everyone, that's not fair. Uh. <laughs> well, <Foul effort. laughs> We did. You remember. Yeah, remembers everything, don't you? All right, Colin. We'll see you tomorrow. Night, darling. Their, their staff didn't think it was safe to handle the body with AIDS. It might be possible, but the cremation would have to be done at the very end of the day. Possibly night. I'm so sorry. Oh, what happens, happens. I'll see you tomorrow, my love. Don't go looking for a villain. It'll just be some bloke. Well, don't just stay in there. When you come, that's a good lad. That's Mike and my lad, Ross. Stay in. I'm always in on a Thursday night. Good to know. Thanks. He's a normal man. He's not one of those filthy, dirty queers. Hi then. Yeah. We don't know about him. I'm sorry, darling. He's gone. He's gone. Mr. Richard Tozer. Or did he walk out? This is horrible. Yeah. Well, well. I'm super sad. <laughs> I think I said before we found out that Colin had AIDS that I was like, oh my god, I love Colin. I always liked Colin. I liked Colin in all the other episodes. Um, he, what a really sad show this is. Of course, you, that's why you guys want me to watch it. <laughs> you probably were like, yeah, Colin's gonna die next episode. Get out the race to watch it! No, <laughs> I'm joking. Um, probably not that much. Um, <laughs> and show somebody to that. Anyways, um, this is a very sad episode. Um, I really did like Colin. Can I say what I was thinking majority of this show? What I was thinking is, I find it very interesting. And I think it's still like that. Like, people in the UK... Like, the men could be masculine or feminine or whatever, or have more, like, feminine traits or whatever. And, like, it's not frowned upon. At least I, that I don't know of. Because, like, I see a lot of, even, like, straight guys that, too, in America would be, like, considered feminine. But they're straight. But I, I look at them as, like, metro. Um, but over here in this time... Where the gay, the gays, they, um, the, you know, my community, you know, our community, they, some men are, like, kind of, like, more feminine, and then they'll find, they'll be in a relationship with other feminine looking or acting men, and there isn't a problem. It is such a shocker over, I wish it was like that, um, because at least, I'll speak for New York dudes. New York men, they, not all, but a lot, the vast majority, they all are looking for, actually, screw that, I'll speak for a lot of men, they always are looking for, like, a masculine guy, instead of just finding love, it's more like what the picture is, compared to what that person is, so the person is shitty, but they look masculine, 9 out of 10, the, some, a guy will want to be with that guy, but the guy is a little bit feminine and or feminine, and then is a super cool guy and would be a great in a relationship. Nine out of ten, for some odd reason, men just don't want that. They just it's very annoying. And people uh, over here, I could speak for, they're like, oh, bottom, top, bottom, no, no bottoms, 
no time. It's so annoying. It's like so annoying. That is one of the biggest thing I've always hated is that you have to always portray. Not only do you come out of the closet, which is a huge step, then you gotta fight the battle with your in your own community, and you have to be either more masculine, but you're not masculine. You want to be who you just want to be a gay guy. Like, why is it so hard just to be a gay guy? Why do I gotta now? fit the mold to what most men want me to be in order to be in a relationship. Why do I have to now pretend, go back into another type of closet to make myself more attracted to you for you to like me? So that's why I'm just like, ugh, these men, trash. Um, because I, I just, I don't look at uh, feminine or masculine. I do have like my preference, but I don't, I've dated feminine guys. I dated very masculine guys. I dated bisexual men. I dated. I actually to tell you the truth. To tell you the truth, let's talk. I never date. I never dated a man that is just like a gay man. I've always had a bisexual man. I've never dated a gay man. Um, and that has nothing. Actually, okay, I talked to. I was talking to a very. Uh, he was very feminine, um, but. I liked him, so it didn't really matter. See, and that's what it is. It's just like, if you like somebody, you like somebody. But, you know, especially nowadays, and like, and you can't say certain things. You, the pronouns sometimes confuse me. Um, so people get like offended if you say one thing. Like, it's just, it's like so complicated now. It's very complicated, but I don't know what I'm thinking when I came out. <sighs> story time. When I came out it wasn't so like I want a masculine guy. I feel like as as the years have gone, as the world hurts, uh, that it's gotten more like strict and it's very annoying. So every gay guy out there, be happy that you're gay. Stop trying to fit and search for um, your particular man um, because you might pass out on somebody who's actually really good. So uh, calm down. That's why a lot of gay men aren't even in relationships. And when they are relationships, they try to hold on as long as they can. We all know that gay men has the same time. A year equals about seven years to us. Um, one month means we're married. Uh, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I just, that's one thing I have to say. So back to the show, and then we're gonna wrap up this, if I can continue filming. Um, this is a very good show. I would consider this episode to be a 9 or 9.5. It was giving me the feels. I was super, super sad. I did not think that Colin was ever going to have AIDS. I, he was the last one in my mind. And go figure, the person that we don't really see being a all over the place um, is the person that catches it, which is crazy. Um, and now he's going off the. It's just super sad. I really liked him, and it, it's so crazy because in the beginning of the episode, or when this first started, I was like, he's like the cutest one in my head. I was like, I think he's so cute because he's like dorky and stuff like that. I just really liked him. Um, so yeah, now and now we have to figure out or find out if the other guy has it, Richard. But I don't think he does. I have like this gut feeling he doesn't have it now because of like. How it's how they're the cliffhanger, you know what I mean? I feel like it's gonna be like the shock and awe, like he does not have it, but maybe the other guy did have it. I wonder if you, I, I feel like you can have sex with somebody who has each or eats HIV, the lesser one. I can't remember which one it is, uh, HIV. Um, but it's not always certain that you can, you'll get it, right? Am I, am I wrong? I don't I don't think so. I don't think I'm wrong. Um, I could be wrong. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so maybe he does. He did not get catch it. We'll find out. Um, so definitely stay tuned, guys. Comment down below. Please like, share this video. And I'll see you next time with more.